having sampled Celtic Park on a European night, it is a really special atmosphere. And I think now, um, you know, they certainly seem to have a team that is worthy of, of that kind of backing when they go into Europe. Uh, I'm really impressed with what Postacoglu has managed to, to achieve with this team so far, how he's managed to turn the club around, especially at the time when Rangers looked so far ahead. And now that gap it's not quite as obvious, despite Rangers getting to the Europa League final last season. Uh, Kyogo, I'm, I'm a big fan of his. I think it's only a matter of time before some bigger European clubs come knocking uh, and try and prize him away. They've gone for new talent and suddenly there's you know, a vibrancy to this, uh, to this Celtic side. Do I think that they can pull off a shock in this group? I'm not necessarily sure, but I, I think that they could fight for third place and to, to drop into the Europa League. But no, I mean, I feel like this team, uh, you know, has some real, you know, players who I think a lot of people are going to discover uh, during the during the Champions League group stage. For me, it seems like the most exciting Celtic side that emerged in at least 10 years.